Hey everybody, so earlier today Miranda and I have got our pressure canner in the garage. We are going to be making a batch of moose chili. We're going to shoot for how many? 36 yep. pints? 36 pints? 36 pints of moose chili. And we're also 36 of pork and beans. We're going to make a batch of pork and beans also. We're shooting for 36 pints of that also. We also have probably 20 or 30 pounds of moose, just straight moose meat, uh, that we did not grind up into burger or we did not cut up into steaks that we will be pressure cook, pressure canning. Um, so yeah, this is what we got going right now. Miranda's got nine pounds, or nine cups of, what kind of beans? Pinto. Pinto beans. Just gonna bring that to a boil. We've got 10 pounds of moose burger. More in the sink. We've got nice tomatoes, tomato sauce. Let me say three onions. Three and a half, three and a half onions. And chili powder and stuff. So this will be our first time attempting chili and pork and beans. Last year we canned a bunch of moose stew and just straight moose meat. The moose stew is really good. I eat it every other day for lunch and we use the just straight moose meat for tacos enchiladas, pulled moose, barbecue sandwiches. Just, we wanted to try something new, so we're gonna try the moose chili this year. Back in the doors with the moose. It's going to fill a lot of jars. So, here's what we've got so far. 26 quarts of moose meat. I didn't count these. It's like 30 some, 35 ish. Moose chili. Bacon, onions. Gonna make some pork and beans. Dogs are getting all the trimmings. And they're waiting. Pork and beans. What all is it? Uh, tomato sauce, molasses, mustard, uh, brown sugar, salt.
So we got three cans of tomato sauce. Three teaspoons of mustard and a three-fourth cup of uh, brown sugar. How much molasses you had? Six tablespoons. We're going to add nine cups of water. Sure. <clears throat> now we're just throwing stuff in there. Since I can't say it, that's what it was. So, we're doing three tablespoons of salt. So now what are we going to do? Let it simmer for a couple minutes and then while we're doing that we can get these assembled. We just start adding the beans. <laughs> it didn't take them long to wake up. So we're putting a half cup of beans in all the jars. And these beans were soaked for 24 hours. So we Decided we're going to add a little bit more brown sugar. To me, it tasted really tomato soupy. So we got some onions left over, and we're just going to put it on top of the meat. Here. Don't do the bacon. Okay, so we got all the bacon added. So we decided we're going to add some of our old honey. This is honey from 2019 from our own bees. I don't know how many jars we're gonna use. Miranda's wiping the lids or the rim of the, rim of the jar so we can start getting the lids put on. You know, add a little bit of water to the moose meat. First we're going to start the moose. I like to tighten the lids on and then back it off.
Well, we'll try it. If it, if it breaks, it breaks. I added two inch angle iron to the bottom instead of inch and a half. And you might have to go back to inch and a half. Okay, there you go. We've got a 30 pound PSV on there. Although I still will not walk away from it, just to make sure we don't drop below our 11 to 12 pound that we're looking for, and to make sure that it doesn't get away from us. So usually it takes about three hours. We're going to add a lot of heat right now with the weed burner. Get this thing up to temp. So we got the lid closed up at 9.15. Looks like we're already starting to build. It's been, a, it's been about five minutes. Already built a little bit of pressure. As it builds pressure, I'm checking for any leaks. Any leaks around the uh, flange here. Make sure our gasket's not leaking. been one hour we're up to eight pounds so it's done so we just hit 11 pounds it's been I think like an hour and 15 minutes what I'm gonna do is just crack this valve open to let steam evacuate for 10 minutes after we got steam coming out for 10 minutes and you see the pressure really starts to drop off at first and it's hard for it to keep up so just slowly open this and we got steam coming out solid for 10 minutes plus we got our pressure up around the 12 13 pound range i'll start my timer okay let's start the timer it is 11:05. i think we started at like 9 15 so we're i don't know hour and 50 minutes then 12 psi Steam coming out. We got just under an hour to go. We're easily holding pressure. Just keep turning the heat down. Opening up just a little bit on the roof valve here. Uh, the timer just went off, it's been an hour and a half, at least, probably a lot more, but it's been a, a good hour and a half of steam coming out, and about, um, about 12 pounds of pressure, so we're going to shut the heat off.
So I think what we're gonna do is call it a night. It's uh, 12.45, I gotta get up at five in the morning. I gotta be to work at six. It's gonna take a while for this to depressurize. We're gonna leave it sitting here just like this, let it do its thing. And then tomorrow we will unbolt it and take out the goods. So this is what we ended up with. We, uh, we canned until about, well, it took about three and a half hours. We got done at one o'clock in the morning. Um, we ended up just leaving all the jars in the canner uh, until today. Uh, every single one of our jars, the lids did what they were supposed to do. None of them, none of them broke, none of them siphoned. It all turned out perfect. We did have a couple where I had the, blow, the torch on the side. Got a little hot on, on the two jars that were near that. So next time I'll, I'll cut that torch off well to 90 on it so that it's shooting straight up at the bottom. But what we ended up with is 26 quarts of moose meat. We've got 14 quarts of pork and beans. We've got 25 pints of pork and beans, four quarts of moose chili, and 27 pints of moose chili. Uh, we could have done a whole nother run in there. Uh, we could have done another 15 or 20 in there if we really wanted to. But uh, it all worked out good. Right. Now we're gonna bring them all in. The one thing about cooking in that is we do end up with rusty tops. So now we're gonna go in, we'll, we'll bring them in, clean them all off. Uh, yeah, it worked awesome.
You got this oil? Well, so one problem we've been having with this is in the off season or between cannings we get a lot of rust build up in here so what I'm going to do this year is uh, I'm going to wipe the whole inside down with vegetable oil just to see if to see if this helps I think it's going to help a lot So I'm not sure if this is going to help out with the rusting, but what we're going to do is we're going to season the, the uh, cooker or the canner just the way you would with the with your cast iron skillet. We uh, rubbed uh, quite a bit of vegetable oil on the inside, now we're just going to hit it with the blowtorch. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And also, if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Soon we'll be putting out a video on how we built the pressure canner.